It's almost indescribable. That feeling of community and identity that a simple body of water gives us. But as you crest the hill on Mill Street and catch the first glimpse of light off of Green Lake, you know, deep down, you're home. If Green Lake is the heart of this community, the streams and tributaries are the arteries and veins contributing to its health. At 236 feet deep, Big Green Lake is the deepest natural inland lake in Wisconsin. Over its 17,000 years, Green Lake has experienced a lot. But a more recent challenge of sustained lake degradation means that its water quality is not what it once was. In 2014, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources listed Green Lake as an impaired water body due to high phosphorus levels and low dissolved oxygen. The Green Lake Association took this news as a heart health warning and sprang to action. We're focusing our efforts on repairing those veins and arteries of Green Lake, effectively seeking to turn back the clock. With our Dakin Creek project, we concentrated on reducing phosphorus loading and restoring a missing brook trout species not seen in this trout stream since the 1950s. Turning back the clock to 1950 began with a lot of legwork, literally. Together with Green Lake County staff, we walked every mile of major streams that flow into the lake. That process uncovered roughly 11 miles of Green Lake's mainstream channels in need of immediate repair, with Dakin Creek as one of the key places to start. That's where Sean Sullivan comes in. He's the brook trout expert at the Wisconsin DNR and was a critical partner in making this project a reality. All of our rivers flow to the northeast or the east and they all enter into Lake Michigan. Historically, Dakin Creek was home to our native Wisconsin trout species, which is eastern brook trout. There used to be hundreds of miles of trout streams. Uh, we only have a few of them left, and that's just because of our development of the land. They need super clean, super cold water. If you can hear the water cascading over these rocks, that oxygenates the water, and that's what brook trout breathe. They're an indicator species of pristine water quality. We can monitor the water quality of Dakin Creek through the brook trout that are in here. And if we start seeing declines in brook trout, then we know that there's something adversely affecting their populations. We removed a bunch of down debris that was basically damming and back pooling sections of the river. We want our rivers flowing as unobstructed as they can be. The areas that we're eroding because of the down wood, we stabilize those areas with curlex, and all we're doing is trying to contain that free soil, that erosion. We removed invasive exotic species from the understory, from our riparian corridor, and what that grass does is that grass actually captures agricultural runoff, and so it's a grass buffer. So it's gonna run through this, and filter sediment, and it's going to contain the nutrient runoff. Stream restoration is incredibly important for the health of our lake, but it is also incredibly expensive. It costs approximately $80,000 to restore one mile of stream, putting a $1 million price tag to repair on the remaining sections currently prioritized. In addition to local donations, grants have played a significant role in funding this work. In 2019, we received a $16,000 grant from Patagonia and a $50,000 grant from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Once the funding was secured, we rolled up our sleeves and put in 250 hours of heavy lifting with the help of volunteers, local partners, and willing landowners. We removed stream obstructions, realigned stream flow, and armored stream banks with recycled Christmas trees to strengthen Dakin Creek's banks and create much needed trout habitat. M.K. Kastiker, a local lake advocate and young steward, was one stream volunteer. I'm very close to Green Lake. I have been going up there since I was a child and my dad was part of the GLA. And I was like, I would like to go to some of these meetings at the GLA too. We were cutting down branches and stuff and like helping with the flow. That does have a direct effect on Green Lake. 
I don't think you can claim to be devoted in a cause if you're not actively engaging personally with that cause. That passion translates to like active work. It does make me feel closer to Green Lake. We replaced and lowered two undersized culverts that were causing erosion issues and sending phosphorus-loaded sediment downstream to Green Lake. One culvert was originally installed too high, creating an artificial waterfall that the once present brook trout couldn't navigate when trying to spawn upstream. In the end, the GLA and our partners repaired 3,600 feet of stream, replaced two culverts, and released 970 brook trout into Dakin Creek. We estimate this project will decrease phosphorus loading to Green Lake by 40 pounds of phosphorus and prevent the growth of 20,000 pounds of oxygen-consuming algae each year. Our initiative to bring back the Brookies set a high standard for Dakin Creek. Its ability to once again support brook trout is a bellwether for our water quality success, since a thriving brook trout population is an important indication of healthy water quality. But our work is not done. We have many more miles of stream to repair in the Green Lake watershed, and we haven't even begun to access the repairs needed to all the smaller feeder streams that could be polluting Green Lake. Our early success, like any heart procedure, is due largely to the support of a great team, a team that believes and acts with a collective, strong resolve. We are thankful for partners such as the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Patagonia, and for every Green Lake Association member whose contributions have helped us make progress, foot by foot, fish by fish. Thank you to all our partners who made this possible. The Green Lake Lake Management Planning Team, Natural Resources Conservation Service, Patagonia, Green Lake County Land Conservation Department, Water Action Volunteers, Brooklyn Township, USGS, Wisconsin DNR, Central Wisconsin Chapter of Trout Unlimited, Local Teachers, Local Landowners, Green Lake Community.